hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm gonna today i'll be sharing with you the the detailed tricks that i normally uh, do for my bridal bridal bridesmaid makeup um if you have any questions please leave a comment down below in the script, in the comment section and uh, i'll be sure to respond and get back to you and uh please enjoy and um stay tuned so as, as you can see, I have already um, uh, done her eyebrows. So right now, what I'm doing is cutting the crease. Uh, she wanted um, a shadow and the shade of pink and something, you know, something uh, shiny, shiny, something shimmery, shimmery. And uh, you know, I, I, my I give the, I give the client the the freedom to choose the shade of the color of the eyeshadow that they want and then i'll be i you know i i do the the, the magic so right now i'm cutting the crease well I'll, I'll put in the gold shade that she selected you see it, we have different shades of gold in this eyeshadow palette that uh, i've shared in the description uh, box down below be sure to check it out the product that i've used on my client for her bridesmaids look uh, so far so good i'm loving it she's also loving it she is in love with the look uh, right now um, i'm going into the huda eyeshadow palette huda beauty eyeshadow palette i'm tapping in now the trick over here is you tap it in you don't rub but tap it in tap in that in, on that crease area section tap in that shade of the eyeshadow that you're using on you or on your client so tapping it it slowly so that it gives the, it gives it a good look and it does not look messy on the eye and to avoid also pouring it all over all over your all over the client's face or all over your face and another thing guys before you start tapping it in please when you get when you when you get up, when you uh when you use it when you're using your brush ensure you blow off the excess eyeshadow powder that is on the brush so that when you so that when you are tapping it in in the client's uh, um, crease area it does not fall all over her face to avoid making your makeup look messy every step of the way you blow off the excess powder the excess um, product for lack of a better word excess product on your clients that, that you'll be using on your clients yeah so everything good uh, please don't mind the background this is a family affair um, I'm at my clients place and she was she is and she was aware that I'll be, uh, I was shooting a video, and um, yeah, so there'll be lots of movement, and you know, weddings bring family together, and I just love the, uh, you know, the ceremony. I'm a, uh, I'm a function part. I love attending. I, I love, I, I love going to family functions. I'm a family person, and this is, uh, I mean, everything that that I live for. So right next, what we're doing is, uh, I'm getting her eyeliner and I'm, I'm, I'm creating an area where we put the uh, false lashes so that when I put on her false lashes uh, it does not look um, um, uh, but that does not look false you know I don't know if you understand you see the way you yes you're, you're doing a, a false lash but when someone looks 
when someone stares at you, it does not look that obvious. It looks it looks well well um well put together. Yeah. So uh, here is this. Uh, she chose the that size. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll put on the glue and use my forceps to hand to to hold my lash and I put it on her eye. So another trick with this is that when you're putting the eyelashes, the false lashes, ensure you start from the middle. Meaning, when you put the glue on your lashes, whether using your hands or you're using the, the faucets, please ensure you start hanging it on from the middle part of the eye. Yes, right above, right on top, right, not really on the eyelash, the lash area, the lash, the eyelashes, but right above. Yeah, so that so that when you, when you're removing the lashes, it does not come out with your natural lash hair. Yes, yeah, so they they sit they sit side by side. So that when you're moving, you're removing your lashes, it does not ruin your natural lashes. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope I, I hope I've I've tried my best to explain that part at least in case you have a question and you'd like to uh, ask more about how to go about any part of what I've tried to explain. Please let me know in the comment section. And um, I'll be sure to respond to you. Do not hesitate. So next up, I've, I'm using um, Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I'm blending it in on in uh, on her skin. I'm using a beauty blender to blend it in. Ensure you use minimal product so that it does not look uh, too fake. Yes, we know it's makeup. Makeup is to en enhance your look, not to make you look absolutely plastic, but at least make you look, you know, beautiful, beautiful, and 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 and, and real, you know. Yes. So as you can see, the blending, the power of blending. So I'm blending in her makeup right now. The foundation as you can see it's blending it's blending in real good and client is really amazing she, she kept telling me how she loves the look and i and i too i'm happy whenever my client is happy that is why i do what i do you know yes next up i'm setting how i'm doing a setting i'm setting in the powder Yes, so another another thing with this with setting in powder is that please do not let it stay on the client or on your face for long because it will start it will it will be difficult for you to blend it in after it has stayed on your face for quite some time and you didn't blend it in immediately. So as soon as you uh, uh, as soon as you apply the setting powder on your face, right below your eyes, ensure to tap it in immediately. So that when you go in with your set, with your finishing powder, everything blends in together nicely and smoothly to give that nicely finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Please, before you uh, exit, leave a comment down below. Give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay tuned for part three, the bridal bridesmaids uh, uh, makeup application. Bye-bye.